So continuing our work from the dollars and cents data, let's see if we can understand why option B grows so much faster. So the data tables have been severely reduced with just a couple of values in them. So let's analyze what happens as T increases from day 20 to day 21. So notice that is an increase of one unit in input. Describe how the outputs change for each function. So for function A, we are going to take A of 21 minus A of 20 and that's going to equal 22,000 minus 21,000. So we're focusing on this set of data here and that is a difference of a thousand. For part B, for option B, we're looking at B of 21. In this case we are going to divide by B of 20 and that is going to give us 20 1,971.52 divided by 10,485.76 and that is approximately equal to 2. Let's look again at what happens from 23 to 24. We have A of 24 minus A of 23. This is function notation meaning then the output that goes with an input of 24 is 25,000 minus 24,000 which again equals 1,000. For B, B of 24 divided by B of 23 that's going to give 167,772 point 16 divided by 83,886.08 which is again approximately equal to 2. So in general we can say as the inputs increase from one day to the next then the outputs for each function for function A the outputs increase by 1,000 and for function B, the outputs double. So in other words, A of T grows by addition. And remember we said that A of T is a linear function. And B of T grows by multiplication. So we're multiplying by 2 or doubling each time and this we said was an exponential function. So here you have the defining difference between linear and exponential functions. Linear functions grow by addition, exponential functions grow by multiplication.